Friends, one of the most exciting parts of our trip to Israel is coming to this special place, the Garden Tomb. And right behind my shoulders, you'll notice there, there is a, a tomb, an empty tomb, where there is no body of Jesus, for he is not here, he is risen. And this is a, a time where we can really enjoy and reflect on the things that Jesus has done for us. He has died on the cross, he was buried, and he rose again the third day, proving to God the Father that his sacrifice on the cross, his death, and his resurrection, his burial and resurrection were sufficient to pay for our sin debt. And if you've never seen this illustrated, I just want to share with you a quick example of what Christ has done for us. I want this hand right here to represent you and me, and I want this wallet to represent all of our sin. The Bible says that we all have sin. The Bible also says that God loves us, but hates our sin. And that there is a payment for this sin. We call this a sin debt in the Bible. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Now there are some people, some churches, and some ministries that maybe suggest that by turning over a new leaf, uh, that that saves you. But friends, that's not true. Uh, some people say that maybe by getting water baptized or by living a good life or becoming a member of a certain church, that that is what saves a person. But friends, I want to challenge you today to trust Christ as your personal Savior. It's not about what you do. It's not about turning over a new leaf or living a good life. But the Bible is clear that the wages of sin is death. Someone has to die for your sin. Now either you die and spend an eternity separated from God for all eternity, or like the Bible accounts 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came to this earth, and I want this hand to represent Jesus. He came to this earth to die on a cross to make the payment for sin that you and I owe. Now, not very far from here in this very garden area, there is a hill called Golgotha. This is the place where Jesus died. Behind me is the place where Jesus was buried, and now he's risen from the grave, proving that his sacrifice is sufficient for your sin debt and my sin debt, for the sins of the whole world. And uh, this is an exciting place because this is where we can trust that Jesus Christ died, he was buried, and he rose again from the grave. And all of the other religions in all the world have bones of their saviors. But there's no bones, there's no body, there's only a risen Messiah, a risen Savior. And that's exciting. And that's one reason why I love to come back here to Israel. It's just a reminder to me of the significant sacrifice, the payment that Jesus made for us. And you can accept Christ today as your personal Savior by in the quietness of your mind, if you just simply believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross. The Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, but it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. There'll be no boasters in heaven, there'll be no one in heaven that says, Lord, I got to hear by my good works. The only people in heaven are gonna be those people who have placed their faith in Christ alone as their personal savior. And friends, you can do that right now in the quietness of your own mind. And we'd love to invite you to Israel to join us and to experience this wonderful time and, and this wonderful garden tomb where you can reflect as well on what Christ has done for you.